This is a review for the iLife V3S Pro. The robot's airflow was measured at 21 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.59 kPa. Unlike most other robot vacuums we tested, the V3S Pro uses a nozzle instead of a brush roll to pick up and pull debris into its dustbin. This gives the V3S Pro an extremely narrow, direct cleaning path as the nozzle is only three inches wide. Thankfully, it has two side brushes to help pull debris from the perimeter of the robot toward its center where its nozzle is located. And as a random pathing robot, it also runs over the same areas repeatedly to further help clean them properly. We see this demonstrated in our carpet stress test. However, even with the help of its side brushes and repeated movement over the same area, the robot still seemed to struggle a bit picking up certain debris on carpet in this test. We didn't test the V3S Pro for carpet deep cleaning because of its design. We use a four inch wide patch of debris in our carpet deep clean test. And the V3S Pro's nozzle is only three inches wide. So it wouldn't be able to properly pull up debris in this test. In our hard floor stress test, the V3S Pro was able to pick up debris much easier. Clearly the vacuum's nozzle design that heavily relies on its side brushes being able to pull debris towards the center of the vacuum works much better on hard surfaces than it does on carpet. The V3S Pro also performed quite well cleaning edges. As we mentioned earlier, this robot utilizes random pathing to move around when cleaning, and this pathing allows it to approach a lot of edges head on, which is good for cleaning them. Its side brushes also extend well away from the perimeter of the robot, more so than those of most other robot vacuums we tested, which also allows it to pull debris out of edges very well. The V3S Pro performed very well in our robot vacuum crevice test. It did so because of its nozzle design. The nozzle concentrates airflow and suction over a small area, which allows the vacuum to pull up debris in this test very well. The robot's nozzle design also allowed it to perform very well in our human hair pickup test. In this test, the V3S Pro picked up all the hair and most of that hair was pulled into its dustbin. Most other robot vacuums have side brushes and brush rolls that tangled with the hair used for this test. A small quantity of hair did tangle around the V3S Pro's side brushes, but the vast majority of the hair was pulled right up and into its dustbin because it doesn't have a brush roll for the hair to tangle around. The V3S Pro also demonstrated exemplary performance in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the V3S Pro's random cleaning pattern demonstrated quite well. We also see fairly even coverage for the V3S Pro over the full duration of the test. In our cluttered room testing, we again see a fairly random cleaning pattern, but here we do see some issues with even coverage. More specifically, the V3S Pro seems to struggle navigating around the chair frame used for this test. It does clean underneath the chair occasionally over the full duration of the test, but most of the time it bounces off of and away from the chair, giving the area underneath the chair considerably less coverage than the rest of the room. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that the V3S Pro does not come with any boundary strips or virtual walls, but it is compatible with virtual walls, what iLife calls electro walls. You can purchase iLife electro walls separately and use them with the V3S Pro to limit where it can go in your home. Also note the V3S Pro's runtime, bin volume, and noise output and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the random pathing robots we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the V3S Pro one of the smallest robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this robot vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. First, it offers very good raw performance. It also picks up debris well on hard surfaces. It does an especially good job picking up and not tangling with longer hair because of its nozzle design. Lastly, it's also usually very competitively priced as one of the cheapest robot vacuums on the market. Moving on to what we dislike about the V3S Pro, the biggest issue with this robot vacuum is its lack of even coverage. More specifically, it struggles cleaning around obstacles like chair legs, where multiple smaller obstacles, in this case chair legs, are located very close to each other. The robot also struggles picking up certain debris on carpet. It has a considerably smaller dustbin than most competitors, and also has slightly less battery life than many competitors. Lastly, it's also quite a bit louder than most competitors. The average robot vacuum we tested was measured at a noise output of 62 decibels, 
while this robot was measured at 69 decibels. In terms of general recommendations, we can't recommend the V3S Pro because of the negatives we just discussed. Because it doesn't have a brush roll that tangles with longer hair, if you live in a home where a lot of longer hair constantly needs to be picked up, it's certainly much easier to use and maintain this robot vacuum than most other robot vacuums we tested. But overall, even in the budget robot vacuum category, there are much better options available that give you much better performance otherwise. We'll have links for those top rated options in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.